This is about a 28 minute drive from my house. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, you'll have to bring it over and send me a Yeah, yesterday I was at the range and I was I was trying to hit open stance draws, like draws yeah. from an open stance, like you were saying. Okay. And uh, I was hitting it pretty good, but scattered, like all over the like so, impact was good, but but start direction was, was scattered. Yeah, I mean, what we're trying to do is fix that transition. I mean, you know, if you get your transition dialed in, you know how much better you're going to be hitting. It. Yeah. Let me have you hit some flamenco drills right now. Okay. Just to try, just try to work out. I want to see what that looks like. One thing you have to remember is to put this silver dot facing that way to get correct. Uh, okay. To get correct spin numbers. And really challenge yourself. Really make sure that right foot is not out to the side. It's more straight back. Uh, oh, like not like that, but. Still try to hit that draw. Try to hit like about a good 10-15 yard right to left shot. Alright, flamingo drill draw. Yeah, drop that right foot a little bit more centered was. There you go, yep. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be a little harder. Now you can't lose your balance though. So. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't count. Yeah, if you lose your balance like that, it doesn't count. So this is really gonna force you center. You want to take away that base of support. So that way you use more of your arms. Bigger base of support you have, the, you can still get away with your own stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now what I want you to do though is let your arms fold up into the finish. Don't, don't shut it off. Okay. Don't like cut it off and rebound, but... Yeah, don't cut it off on the finish because if your arms are If, say that again, if my arms are... If your arms are in control, you'll be able to hit nice high push draws from this position. No trouble at all, your contact will be great. Yeah, that's a good placement for your right foot right there. There you go. This is like next level flamingo drill when you're right in a straight line. Exactly, exactly. That's better. That was a, yeah, a straight bend and draw, not a push draw. Yeah, so that, this, will, this exercise can start getting you to yeah, usually, a better transition. Yeah, usually, Tony, we, I don't know if you can see here, but that's club path 3.9 right. I'm usually one degree left on club path. Yeah, see, that, that's perfect. All right, so you want to see that again, right? Well, so my question to you is what did you feel as you did that? What did you feel in transition? I think I felt more centered and not so much like away. Okay, what about on the way down? Let's do it again, let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, watch it up, there you go, yeah. And you can move it, yeah, there you go. It's uh, two miles an hour faster with the regular stance. Okay, so I just kind of. Or even le even <laughs> less even less than two miles actually. Yeah. I mean that that was a seven iron that went one seventy. Yeah. So how much effort did that swing take? No, it felt it felt easy for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's your transition right there. That's a better. Transition. 
transition it felt like this was folded and then it was getting unfolded here like this okay rather than being drug along and then slinging out it was more putting okay. it on it so, so there's your arms doing a better job of transition they're accelerating at a faster pace or a higher rate than what your body is yeah Yeah, that was a that was a good shot. 
that was okay. So my my path. Okay, my yeah, my club path was one degree right, and my face was right at the target. So so it started straight and it drew four yards. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I like what I'm saying. All right, you wanna, you wanna? I'll move over to driver so we can talk about this smash factor thing we were talking about. Yep, exactly. So let's hit yours first. Well, they're both mine. I I switched drivers recently. Okay. Well, so so this this first. driver is the one that is the one that you saw the numbers off of yesterday. So I'll hit this one. Okay. Well, the TaylorMade was the one you saw. I saw the numbers on. Yeah, and the one that you've seen me hit when we've been together is that I have this one, my, my Callaway. Oh, okay. The thing about this one, see, when I went to the golf store, the golf store just reads ball speed. So my ball speeds were like 157 or 158. So they were assuming they had it fixed in at a smash factor of like 1.45. So they were, based on that ball speed, at a 1.45 smash that they were assuming my club head speed was like 106 or something, right? Um, so I was thinking, well, maybe I'm not an X. But then I come in here and this thing independently records the, the club head and the ball. So they were showing me that, no, my smash factor is just really low, even though my, my speed is high. All right, so the, yeah, same thing. So s smash factor there was a little better, 1.4. Club head speed was 112, ball speed was 156, but that was a, that was a low draw, almost a low hook. Yeah, so that, that path actually, it looks like it says right on the screen, but that path looked a little bit left. Yeah, club head was just a little bit right. Okay, what was the angle of attack, does it say? Uh, 1.7 degrees up. Okay. Yeah, angle of attack was just a little on the up. And okay. the face was pretty well closed, but I think that's because I hit it off the heel and then the face shut. Okay. So do you want to see a flamingo drill driver, or what would you like to see, Tony? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then I got, I got another take on what we got to work on a little bit with the driver. That was solid. See, that's the highest smash factor I've had in three days. That was a 1.42, which is very high for me. Club head speed was 108. Um, angle of attack was plus 1.1. Uh, if it was the club head this time was 3.9 degrees to the right. Right. With the okay. face. And the face was only 2.7 to the right, so it started right and it basically came. That was basically a push draw. Yep, yep, that's what we're looking for right there. So again, you know, what what is that feel and transition that allows you to create those, those numbers? Well, definitely, it's, the first thing I noticed that it, it's my transition starts from a shorter place than with my full swing. You know, okay, like it doesn't start from here; it starts from about here. Okay, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I notice is. Just the acceleration curve, like if you could see, it would seem much smoother in this area. Like yep. it's not, it's not instant acceleration. It's, it's a, uh, you know, you better be pretty smooth or else you fall off balance. You know. Exactly. So that's that arm swing that is creating the, the, the acceleration right now. So if the body just rotates, it's accelerating. That it actually accelerates faster, but it's going in the wrong direction. So it doesn't do you any good. Uh huh. All right, so I'm going to try to keep that feel into a into a, a golf swing now. All right. Yep. Now here's one thing I want you to kind of just add a little bit with the driver. I would like to see a load up just a touch to the right a little bit more. Yeah. The one thing that I've been having success with that I was thinking about that it was like. A, the step drill where I step and, and go, because I felt like I was at the top and just going. I felt like, you know, that, what do you think about that? The, 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 I felt like if I was on the, which they have here too, we could do another day, you know, the, the force plates. I felt like you would see it in transition, I just never got to the left. I would just start my downswing still on that right foot and then 
and try to get to it. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would say that's, you know, I kind of put in that one tax, but you may want to feel like you're kind of sliding just a touch to cut. Because the thing what we got to do is stop the rotation and transition. Now, how we do that, you know, this that's the fun part because you get the creativity of what do we need to do to make you make the change. And everyone can be a little bit different. So, you know, the blanket statement is a flamingo drill. But I think in your case, you're going to need to have those hips stay a little square, a little bit longer, so you can load up onto that left side on the way down. Okay, so like the, the other day you were telling me, here, slide the hips, and then build a block. Yeah, and I would, I would actually say make the, the slide and your arm swing identical. You know, sync those up. Don't do it just slide. There you go. But get those arms down even slower, so like you feel in transition. So it's just a little bit, you know, just that's, but yeah, that's better. So this way you feel more, just you're, you're staying close to touch longer instead of spinning out. That was three degrees up. Yeah, I mean, I like the way it's looking right now. I think you, you may have to give yourself a little bit more room at a dress, just back up about half an inch. Okay. Because you're, you're working your hips differently. Um, but I, I like with what I'm seeing right now and how this conversation's going. All right, so let's do a... Yeah, the main thing I'm getting out of flamingo drill is just how much shorter I can be and, and still have the same amount of power. Yeah, I mean, and that's where you have to just personalize that. Yeah. How's that look set up? Is that close? Yeah, see, I'm glad you backed it up a little bit. That looks better. Wow. That was really, like, it felt like I caught it really solid. It was just, the club hat actually was moving left, but my, my face was almost five degrees to the right. Somehow, that, I was really trying to be short here and then keep it in front of me, but I don't think I got to my left at all. What did you see there? Yeah, you're thinking about a lot of things right now, so this is where we gotta just, you know, be careful with it. This is where you got to kind of come up with kind of, um, you know, the, the way the, the, the motor skill development, the way your brain works is how you can kind of group, you know, have one thought to get multiple things to happen. You know, you want to create that synergy and transition. So this way you're not going, okay, I need to do this and then this, then this. That's too slow. What are, work. What are some like, fields that... How can I create, have this thought that creates everything to happen or a group of it to happen. What you have to kind of discover, which you already have a little bit, is the transition. So what did the flamingo drill give you? It gave, you described an awareness to me, you described a feeling to me. That was brilliant. That's what we wanted because that way you know exactly what it is because as an instructor, I don't know what that feels like in that swing to you. You know, I have no idea. Yeah. I know it takes less effort, we know it's good and everything else, but I really don't know if that, that actual feeling, where that pressure is. Now, body-wise, what we got to make sure is that you're really getting strong with that that outer side of that left quad, and you're really hitting into it, so that doesn't spin out exactly. But I would don't let that knee straighten out as much, and feel like that left. Yes, there you go. Because now again, if we were doing long drive, now this has been what you know. It's been. But I haven't really watched a long drive because I really don't have anybody in the race anymore. Um, but I can see where those guys are really kind of changing their swing and really, really backing up through the ball exactly in order to just whip that club down. So from a speed, that would probably be the fastest way. But if you look at really a lot of those guys, like in the finals, I just kind of just double check to see where they. One guy from uh, Canada didn't get any in the grid. So it's it's one hit wonder with that type of motion. And in golf, we want that to be.
be any, that's not what we want. We want to be able to hit 80% of the fairways, 90% of the fairways. Yeah. So this is the reason why we're looking for a different type of motion with your lower body, which is that posting up and getting up through the shot. Yep. That just kind of just keeps that club face square a little bit longer. See, right now those hips are just spinning out just a touch. Oh, they oh they're spinning from the top, so you want to see them more get, like by the yeah, time yeah, my, exactly. my arm is at but B2. Down. So, so one, one of the misconceptions about the ground force reaction is that force has to be created somewhere. The ground force reaction is, a, is, is what it says. It's a reaction from the ground by, by what we are putting into it. So that's our feeling. So it doesn't come from the ground. We have to create it, pushing it down. So your arm swing has to be working it down because your intent is to throw it down. Uh -huh. So, we so everything that, has to be moving really down? I want that, see, I need to actually that left hip to kind of stay a little square or longer. I feel like it's a little bit of a slide. Slide with the hips as you kind of get that right arm going. Yeah, that's better. I, mean, I, I hit it super solid that way, but and that club head speed was 117, but I'm I'm blocking it out to the right. The face is staying open somehow. That's fine, but for right now... That's but my fine. body movement feels good. I do feel it in front of the ball. Yes, exactly. So if you're doing that, you know, that for what we're trying to do, it's working. Because I'm telling you to intentionally, you know, work those hips sideways, so that's gonna, you know, block it out. What's your swing path? Does it give you a swing path on that one? Yeah, it was um, 2.5 to the right. And angle of attack was flat, 0.3 up. Excellent. See, I love that. Oh, you like that? I really love that. So now what we got to do? Dude, give me a couple more of those, just so you know the feeling. Yeah. I'm going to switch driver just to see. Yeah, that's fine. Like that, Tony? Let me do exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I, were you, we're over exaggerating it just a touch yeah. to get that feeling, but yeah, I like that. So that way it just stops the spin out. But don't forget your arms. It's not just a, a, a lower body motion. Slide with the arms going. You know what, equipment wise though, because that one wasn't as good, this is probably better, because that was all the way up to a 1.43 smash for, for me is, is high. Okay. All right, so that one was actually down 1.8. Yeah, uh, see that, that one your hips kind of spun out on. The, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, somehow I didn't, because the face was going a little left and, and the, yeah. the club was going a little left and the face was right. Yeah. Uh, just like, you know, I got a pause. What happened? Uh, no, your screen's paused. Oh, that's, that's my wife calling. Hold on, uh, that's okay. I'll call her back. All right, so that one, you saw spinny hips? Yeah, that one I saw spinny. You're trying to get on top of your hips, but you got on, on top of your hips to laugh. No, no, no. No, that wasn't that. There you go. Yeah. yeah, it feels like I'm way in front of the ball. Which for right now, you, you have to do that just so we can kind of get that trained. Yep. Give yourself a little more room, bend over just a touch more. There okay. you go. Yep. Gosh, I hit that hard. Yeah, that was 1.45 smash. It only spun 1600. That was three degrees down though. Oh no, wait. Yeah, that was three degrees down. And the club path was going 1.9 to the right, which was, was good. And the face was only half a degree to the right. So that had a, that had a push draw on it. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm not so 
not sure that was really down that much, but that's okay. Well, that's the thing about being though, like in front of it. I'm, you know, I always been trying to hit up on it slightly. So like, I'm kind of hanging back. Like, how can I make that same move, but still have it like flattened out? You know. Okay. That's just making the arms faster. You think? Yes. Okay. How much more time do you have? Um. Let's see. My meeting got changed, so I'm fine on time. Okay. We gotta get our. Uh, I gotta build a putting a line for our putting study. So I just gotta do that. So we're doing that EEG, uh, and then we're using vision occlusion, and so we're taking away the hole. And we're taking away people's eyes, not literally, but uh, so that way we, we're seeing what the mind does and can you learn better from not, can you become more aware by not using your vision? Yeah, I know you do a lot of, you do a lot of eyes closed golf swings too, huh? Yeah, that, I do a lot with looking at the hole and putting. Um, yeah, if I close my eyes and do a flamingo drill. Now that one I haven't done, usually people end up getting hurt. So no, 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 not, not hitting the wall, just slow motion. <laughs> you do have to, you do have to concentrate, that's for sure. Okay, somebody else is calling you now. That's, that's a message from school. on mode here just so you can see kind of more what I'm looking like. Hey Scott. How's hey it Tony, going? say hi to Scott. This is hey, Scott. Hey. How's it going? Scott is the owner of, of uh, Swing Swing Cordell. Thanks man. Uh, the F45? Yeah. It's great, man. That's a great program. It's really good for golfers. I mean, I was really attracted to it because it was the kind of stuff that I was already doing. Okay. Uh, it's all, you know, it's all functional training. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's starting to take off now. Yeah. Yeah, Scott, Scott was doing insurance and we just got into all this. Yeah. Can't live with regrets. Got to do what you got to do and move forward. Well, the thing is now, you know, I mean, for, for me, it's like if I talk about what you're doing with that 45 and all that, now that I have a master's degree in physiology, you know, it, it makes things more credibility, but it has more credibility. Sure. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you're not credible if you don't have a degree, but you always have those skeptics, and I want to keep our understanding and everything about it. Sure. And I, I do too, I just, I, I need to get the business going first, so. The franchise, fr franchise gives me credibility right off the bat. Now, where I take that is, is up to me, but, you know. Yeah, and I was also being in Mississippi, and it's just not the right place for it, I don't think. I don't think there is anything in Mississippi. There's a, 
Uh, maybe there, there might be one. And uh, that the club was going 1.3 to the right. Uh, that was one degree. That was one and a half degrees down. Okay, so let's let's wrap up a little bit. So basically, I'm going to be. Um, Flamingo drill has taught me to, to, I mean, I've known this, but it's given me more of an awareness of what it feels like to, to have a shorter backswing but still be powerful, right? Yeah, I think the length of swing is what you have to determine. You have to determine what length you have to create the speed. Uh -huh. You know, I think that's very personal. And the arc swing is a, a gradual acceleration, more effective acceleration. And you want to be able to combine those and figure out what the way you're going. That, you know, how short or is too short, how long is too long. That's the sort of thing you need to determine, which I think you're doing a great job with. Because the shaft's pretty much parallel at the top, so it's not like it's too short. Yeah, yeah. But the good thing is, is now that awareness at the top allows you to have better awareness come down, and that's what that thing is doing. So give me a, good. so give me a, an idea of how, uh, you can't tell me how it feels, but of what you're thinking hips-wise on the downswing. As my hips are getting closer to the target and sliding that way, are are my head and shoulders staying back so that my spine is kind of tilting more away from the target on the way down? The better your arms go with this lower body movement, you won't have to worry about your upper body, it'll just go. Okay. So arms so yeah, arms are working aggressively down in like gradual speed and then while the hips are, are kind of feeling like they're Sliding, posting forward. Exactly. Okay, cool. Exactly. And that's just something what you have to do in order to get rid of this Okay, I appreciate the work. Thanks. We'll we'll talk again in the next uh, couple days. I'll I'll send you some some slow mos from the course. Okay. Good job. All right. Later. Uh, guys, you can show. You can see Tony on his channel at uh, just go to reactionarygolf.com and you see everything on there. And uh, you can check out Swing Core Golf. Tustin on Facebook. If you just type in Swing Core Golf Tustin. Thanks to Scott for letting me use this facility and talk to you later. You hit some iron shots or. Yeah, I've hit a couple shots. Yeah, yeah, I got. So I have a, a Taylor made M1 and I have a. Uh, and I have my Callaway XR Pro. Okay, excellent. Okay, yeah, let's hit some wires. Just, okay. Just kind of now, where is this related to the airplane? This is about a 28 minute drive from my house. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, you'll have to bring it over next time you come. All right. So right now I got it on, on this view. When I hit a shot, this is a seven iron. When I hit a shot, you'll see it on the driving range view, and then it'll pop back to here. But this shows you like how down I'm hitting it. Uh, my club path here, my face to target here, and then the loft, the dynamic loft and impact there. And then also for driver, what's really interesting is the angle of attack, so how down you hit on it. Yeah, yesterday I was at the range and I was I was trying to hit open stance draws, like draws yeah. from an open stance, like you were saying. Okay. And uh, I was hitting it pretty good, but scattered, like all over the like so, impact was good, but but start direction was, was scattered. Okay. 
maybe we're going to be able to somehow get you seeing the screen of this computer and FaceTime at the same time. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. All right, so you want to see that again, right? Well, if you, so my question to you is, what did you feel when you were doing So that was a little bit more of the body and transition, just a touch. 
felt like in transition, it felt like this was folded and then it was getting unfolded here, like this. Okay. Rather than being drug along and then slinging out, it was more putting it on it. So, so there's your arms doing a better job of transition. They're accelerating at a faster pace or a higher rate than what your body is. Yeah. Right, 
and my face was right at the target, so so it started straight and it drew four yards. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I like what I'm saying. All right, you want to? I'll move over to driver so we can talk about this smash factor thing we were talking about. Yeah, exactly. So let's hit yards first. Well, they're both mine. I I switched drivers recently. Okay. So so this this driver is the one that is the one that you saw the numbers off of yesterday. So I'll hit this one. Okay, well, the Taylor made was the one you saw, I saw the numbers on? Yeah, and the one that you've seen me hit when we've been together is that I have this one, my, my Callaway. Oh, okay. The thing about this one, see, when I went to the golf store, the golf store just reads ball speed. So, let me get real seats. The golf store, store just reads ball speed, so I... So my ball speeds were like 157 or 158. So they were assuming they had it fixed in at a smash factor of like 1.45. So they were, based on that ball speed at a 1.45 smash, that they were assuming my club head speed was like 106 or something, right? Um, so I was thinking, well, maybe I'm not an X. But then I come in here and this thing independently records the, um, records the, the club head and the ball. So it was showing me that no, my smash factor is just really low, even though my, my speed is high. So I, here we go. I don't know on this how to change. Here, I think I can change clubs here. There we go. Driver. All right, just golf course swing here. So the, yeah, same thing. So smash factor there was a little better, 1.4. Club head speed was 112, ball speed was 156, but that was a, that was a low draw, almost a low hook. Yeah, so that, that path actually, it looks like it says right on the screen, but that path looked a little bit left. Yeah, club head was just a little bit right, um, but the, uh, What's the angle of attack on that? The face was two degrees closed. Okay. What was the angle of attack? Does it say? Yeah, it does. I just got to go over here. You should be able to leave it on the same screen and just hit the bottom arrows. Mm -hmm. That was that was that was uh, one point seven degrees up. Okay. These yeah, bottom arrows. I think if you hit the bottom arrows, it should shuffle over. Maybe not, but. Yeah, it's not giving me an, oh, maybe this one here. No, it's just not spread. Oh, oh, okay, that way I don't have to, yeah, you're right. Yeah, angle of attack was just a little on the up. And the face was pretty well closed, but I think that's because I hit it off the heel and then the face shut. So do you want to see a flamingo drill driver? What would you like to see, Tony? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then I got, I got another take on what we got to work on. That was solid. See, that's the highest smash factor I've had in three days. That was a 1.42, which is very high for me. Club head speed was 108. Um, angle of attack was plus 1.1. Uh, if it was the club path this time was 3.9 degrees to the right. Right. With the okay. face. And the face was only 2.7 to the right, so it started right and it basically came. That was basically a push draw. Yep, yep, that's what we're looking for right there. So again, you know, what what is that feel and transition that can allow you to create those, those numbers? Well, definitely, it's, the first thing I noticed that it, it's my transition starts from a shorter place than with my full swing. You know, okay, like it doesn't start from here; it starts from about here. Okay, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is. Just the acceleration curve, like if you could see, it would seem much smoother in this area. Like yep. it's not, it's not instant acceleration. It's, it's a, uh, you know, you better be pretty smooth or else you fall off balance. You know. Exactly. So that's that arm swing that is creating the, the, the acceleration for him. So if the body just rotates, it's accelerating. That it actually accelerates faster, but it's going in the wrong direction. 
Uh huh. You're being. Every play, you're, those shots, those bad shots, but feel so much effort because you have more muscles firing. You're being filmed for Be Better Golf, by the way. I'm not thinking that. All right, so I'm going to try to keep that feel into a into a, a golf swing now. All right. Yep. Now here's one thing I want you to kind of just add a little bit with the driver. I would like to see it load up just a touch to the right a little bit more. Yeah. The one thing that I've been having success with that I was thinking about that it was like uh, the step drill where I step and and go. Because I felt like I was at the top and just going. I felt like, you know, that, what do you think about that? The, 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 I felt like if I was on the, which they have here too, we could do an, another day. You know, the, the force plates. I felt like you would see it in transition. I just never got to the left. I would just start my downswing still on that right foot and then try to get to it. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would say that's, you know, I kind of put in that one tax about you may want to feel like you're kind of sliding just to touch to come. Because the thing what we got to do is stop the rotation and transition. Now, how we do that, you know, this that's the fun part because you get the creativity of what do we need to do to make you make the change. And everyone can be a little bit different. So, you know, the blanket statement is a flamingo trip. But I think in your case, you're going to need to have those hips stay a little square, a little bit longer, so you can load up onto that left side on the way down. Okay, so like the, the other day you were telling me, here, slide the hips, and then feel them block. Yeah, and I would, I would actually say make the, the slide and your arm swing identical. You know, sync those up. Don't do it just slide. There you go. But get those arms down even slower, so like you feel in transition. So it's just a little bit, you know, just, that's, but yeah, that's better. So this way you feel more, just, you're, you're staying close to touch longer instead of spinning out. Okay, that was, the path was a little left that time. Oh, actually, no, the path was straight. It was half a degree to the right, off the heel. And uh, what was that on the up? That was three degrees up. Yeah, I mean, I like the way it's looking right now. I think you, you may have to give yourself a little bit more room at a dress, just back up about half an inch. Okay. Because you're, you're working your hips differently. Um, but I, I like with what I'm seeing right now and how this conversation's going. All right, so let's do a yeah. The main thing I'm getting out of flamingo drill is just how much shorter I can be and and still have the same amount of power. Yeah, I mean, and that's where you have to just personalize that. Yeah. How's that look set up? Was that close? Yeah, see, I'm glad you backed it up a little bit. That looks better. Wow. I don't know what happened with that ball. That was really, like, it felt like I caught it really solid. It was just, the club hat actually was moving left, but my, my face was almost five degrees to the right. Somehow that, I was really trying to be short here and then keep it in front of me, but I don't think I got to my left at all. What did you see there? Yeah, you're thinking about a lot of things right now, so this is where we gotta just, you know, be careful with it. Or you're not trying to, because, of trade, because we're focusing on the downswing, you know, a little bit on the back too, but really the key is the downswing. This is where you gotta kind of come up with kind of, um, you know, the, the way the, the, the motor skill development, the way your brain works is how you can kind of group, you know, have one thought to get multiple things to happen. You know, you want to create that synergy and transition. So this way you're not going, okay, I need to do this and then this, then this. That's too slow. What are, work. What are some like, fields that... How can I create, have this thought that creates everything to happen or a group 
to the tavern. Right. Well, ju just for posterity's sake or, or for, for experimentation, what are some fields you would like to see me try? Just like, hey, try this. Like, we were talking, like, Jack Nicholas would say, like, the club head getting before the buttons on his shirt. Are there, are there any kind of fields you would just like to see randomly? Like, hey, try this just to see, you know? Well, it's not so much for me. So from, from a, what, what you have to kind of discover, which you already have a little bit, is the transition. So what did the Flamingo drill give you? It gave, you described an awareness to me. You described a feeling to me. That was brilliant. That's what we wanted because that way you know exactly what it is because as an instructor, I don't know what that feels like in that swing to you. You know, I have no idea. Yeah. I know it takes less effort. We know it's good and everything else, but I really don't know if, that, that actual feeling, where that pressure is. Now, body-wise, what we got to make sure is that you're really getting strong with that, that outer side of that left quad, and you're really hitting into it so that doesn't spin out exactly. But I would don't let that knee straighten out as much and feel like that left, yes, there you go. Because now, again, if we were doing long drive, now this has been, you know, it's been, but I haven't really watched a long drive because I really don't have anybody in the race anymore. Um, but I can see where those guys are really kind of changing their swing and really, really backing up through the ball exactly in order to just whip that club down. So from a speed, that would probably be the fastest swing. But if you look at really a lot of those guys, like in the finals, I just kind of just double check to see where they. One guy from uh, Canada didn't get any in the grid. So it's it's a one-hit wonder with that type of motion. And in golf, we want that to be, that's not what we want. We want to be able to hit 80% of the fairways, 90% of the fairways. Yeah. So this is the reason why we're looking for a different type of motion with your lower body, which is that posting up and getting up through the shot. Yep. That just kind of just keeps that club face square a little bit longer. See, right now those hips are just spinning out just a touch. Oh, they oh they're spinning from the top, so you want to see them more get, like, by the yeah, time yeah, my, exactly. my arm is at the two. Down. So, so one, one of the misconceptions about the ground force reaction is that force has to be created somewhere. The ground force reaction is, a, is, is what it says. It's a reaction from the ground by, by what we are putting into it. So that's our feeling. So it doesn't come from the ground. We have to create it, pushing it down. So your arm swing has to be working it down. You're, because your intent is to throw it down. Uh -huh. So, we so everything to, has to be moving do, down? I that, see, I need to actually that left hip to kind of stay a little square longer. Okay. So that's the reason why I was trying to say, you know, slide through. I feel like it's a little bit of a slide. Slide with the hips as you kind of get that right arm going. Yeah, that's better. Back up from it, just touch. There you go. I, I, I hit it super solid that way, but and that club head speed was 117. But I'm I'm blocking it out to the right. The face is staying open somehow. That's fine. But for right now, that's but my body fine. movement feels good. I do feel in front of the ball. Yes, exactly. So if you're doing that, you know that for what we're trying to do, it's working. Because I'm telling you to intentionally, you know, work those hips sideways. So that's going to, you know, block it out. What's your swing path? Does it give you a swing path on that one? Yeah, it was um, 2.5 to the right. And angle of attack? Was flat, 0.3 up. Excellent. See, I love that. Oh, you like that? I really love that. So now what we got to do, do, give me a couple more of those just so you know the feeling. Yeah. I'm going to switch drivers just to see. Yeah, that's fine. Like that, Tony? 
the way you exactly. do it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I, were, you, were over-exaggerating it just a touch to get that feeling, but yeah, I like that. So that way it just stops the spin out. But don't forget your arms, it's not just a, a, a lower body motion. Slide out the arms go.
really like the arms are, are I'm feeling short to, to keep it contained. And then I'm feeling like really I'm sliding way ahead of it as my arms are being really fast. That's what I'm doing. I'm a, and I would say right now, you want to monitor that so that way it doesn't become, you don't overcook it, but that's definitely stopping you from spinning out. Hey, I'm going to put you in a, in a face on mode here just so you can see kind of more what I'm looking like. Hey, Scott. How's hey, Tony, going? say hi to Scott. This is Scott. Hey, How's it going? Scott is the owner of, of uh, Swing, Swing Court Golf. Thanks, man. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I think that's really stuff. I've done a couple years ago with the F45? Yeah. It's great, man. That's a great program. It's really good for golfers. I mean, I was really attracted to it because it was the kind of stuff that I was already doing. Okay. Uh, it's all, you know, it's all functional training. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's starting to take off now. Yeah. Yeah, Scott Scott was doing insurance and we just got into all this. Yeah. Can't live with regrets. Gotta do what you gotta do and move forward. Well the thing is now, you know, I mean for, for me it's like if I talk about what you're doing with that forty five and all that, not that I have a master's degree in physiology, you know, it makes sense more credibility, but it has more credibility. Sure. I just I, I need to get the business going first. So the franchise fr franchise gives me credibility right off the bat. Now where I take that is, is up to me, but. So basically, I'm going to be, um, Flamingo Drill has taught me to, to, I mean, I've known this, but it's given me more of an awareness of what it feels like to, to have a shorter backswing but still be powerful, right? So give me a, an idea of how, uh, you can't tell me how it feels, but of what you're thinking hips-wise on the downswing. Down and going back with the left hip joint, I'm getting up on top of it, sliding and getting up on 
as my hips are getting closer to the target and sliding that way, are, are my head and shoulders staying back so that my spine is kind of tilting more away from the target on the way down? The better your arms go with this lower body movement, you won't have to worry about your upper body, you'll just go. Okay. So arms, so yeah, arms are working aggressively down in like gradual speed and then while the hips are, are kind of feeling like they're sliding, posting forward. So exactly, okay, cool. exactly. And that's just something we have to do in order to get yeah, the rest of the Okay, I appreciate the work, thanks. We'll, we'll talk again in the next uh, couple days. I'll, I'll send you some, some slow-mos from the course. Okay, good job. All right, later. Uh, guys, you can show, you can see Tony on his channel at, uh, just go to reactionarygolf.com and you see everything on there. And uh, you can check out Swing Core Golf in Tustin on Facebook. If you just type in Swing Core Golf Tustin. Thanks to Scott for letting me use this facility and talk to you later.